Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and I reviewed quite a few Watch Dogs mods over the past few years. So today I thought I'd talk about my top 5 favorite mods for Watch Dogs. Now this could be for any of the 3 games in the series. So let's get right into it. At number 5 we have Hardcore Pack for Watch Dogs 1. Now this is basically Watch Dogs on like ultra super hard realistic mode. First of all you get less XP, there's no spec op weapons, and here's the big one. One hit death for any enemy. So you get shot once and you're dead, which makes it extremely difficult. And you pretty much have to play every mission as a stealth mission, especially the ones with snipers like breaking into Rossi Fremont. It's pretty much impossible to move. And also something that makes that harder is that enemies now detect you in 0.01 seconds. So you can't even be seen for I mean, it's pretty much instantly. There's also a limited skill tree and no weapon HUD or reticle. So that means you don't know exactly where you're aiming. Like you have to get really good at aiming in the default game to be able to play this mod or just go around stealthily trying to do melee takedowns. I've tried to play with this mod and it was really, really difficult, but it was also really rewarding when I actually got through a mission. At number four, we have the Reborn mod for Watch Dogs 1. Now this is actually one of my favorite graphics mods. It was when I reviewed it and it still is. It includes Living City, which one of the reasons why I didn't put Living City on this list is because I never really play with it just alone. Like it's always complemented with another mod, whether that be a graphics mod or another UI mod. I never really just play Living City by itself. I feel like Living City is a is a great mod and you absolutely can play it by itself, but that's just my opinion. I feel like you really need something else to go on top of that. And Reborn is just a really nice looking graphics mod. There's new map icons, there's better depth of field, bloom. It just has a really, really clean vibe to it. I love the way it looks just in general. And yeah, that's why it's at number four. Number three, we have the Watch Dogs Legion mod menu. Now, the reason I didn't put the Watch Dogs 2 mod menu is because the one for Legion is currently still being worked on and supported and there's new features being added all the time and it's just so much more expansive than the one for Watch Dogs 2. First of all, let's talk about those cinematic tools, the camera tools. You can keyframe your camera's position to create these really, really cool cinematics and a lot of people who are much more creative than me could think of some really cool projects. I've always talked about this in my previous mod menu videos, but I think that you could honestly make a really, really cool machinima like old style machinima or short film with Watch Dogs Legion. And of course, just like the Watch Dogs 2 mod menu, you can change the time, the weather, you can spawn stuff in, you can spawn cars in, you can really do whatever you want. But unlike the Watch Dogs 2 mod menu, there is now a map editor and a character creator which were added in the last update for Script Hook. There's so many possibilities with this. I only messed around with it for like five minutes. But again, like I said, people who are more into the machinima space, digital filmmaking, could make some really cool stuff with this. I would say the only thing it's missing, and I don't know the specifics behind this, I don't know if they'd be able to do this or not, but the only thing it's missing is like being able to individually move bones in an NPC's mesh to be able to have like actual, you know, mocap and, and make your own custom walking animations. I don't know if that's possible or not, but they've already done more than enough with the Watch Dogs Legion script hook. And number two, we have the Revival mod. Now this is my favorite graphics mod for Watch Dogs 1. It's a project that tries to be as E3 2012 as possible. Just like Reborn, it has a really, really clean look to it, a really, really clean vibe. But this time there's like a grayish green tint to it. And I honestly, I love the way it looks. This is actually the one that I usually pick for my personal playthrough. Um, it has really good rain, a new takedown animation. And there's just a lot of small details in this mod that add up to make a really, really good experience. I don't really get a huge performance hit when I load any of these mods, but especially this one, it just feels like I'm playing the regular Watch Dogs, but it looks better. And yeah, I just love the color grading for this mod. Coming in at number one, we have Natural San Francisco for Watch Dogs 2. So this is my favorite mod of all time and also the first mod that I ever reviewed for Watch Dogs back in 2020. Something about this mod is just special, even though it really doesn't add that much to the game, you know, it adds some new foliage and explosions. But the main thing that I talk about and the main thing I talked about in my original review was the orange tint, the new color grading for Watch Dogs 2 San Francisco and the sky. The sky, especially at night, just looks so much better than the original sky. I love the black and gray contrasting with the orange lights of the city. And the black and gray sky just looks much better than the original blue sky. And it also looks much better when you do the blackout hack, which honestly I thought was a lot worse in Watch Dogs 2. But I mean, I guess it's better than 
not having it at all in Legion, but I think it just looks much better. The color contrast just looks so much better than the original game. And I know some people have commented like, this is not actually how San Francisco looks in real life, but it doesn't really matter to me because it just looks really good in my opinion. It's just very visually pleasing. And this is the only mod that I'll use for Watch Dogs 2 in my personal playthrough. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite mods for Watch Dogs are down in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.